Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another tutorial on Ito Fire. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, Dragon Programming Language. That is a tutorial uh, for the beginners and also those people who are familiar with it just and just want to get in depth with Dragon Programming Language. Alright, so this is a full course tutorial. We're going to be looking at the hello world, the loops, the conditional statement, the GUI, the HTTP server model. And we are going to be making our own model at the end. Alright, so the first thing we need, to, we need to talk about is what is Dragon? You know, Dragon is a high level programming language that's used to build um, dynamic applications. Yeah, you can build desktop software, mobile applications, mobile games. It's also used for scripting and used for it, uh, it will be used for um, the IoT in the future and some other kind of things. Right, but for now, we have the desktop application and the dragon gx also it's used for web development still in progress but for this tutorial we're just going to be covering the desktop software development using dragon all right so you can see i have i have dragon installed already i hope you to do then i have also set up the music dragon id if you don't have dragon installed all you need to do is just visit https all right https then dragon lang dot all right so after this email then you can download dragon from that page and also you can download the IDE from there. So that was the first tutorial I'm gonna be looking at what um the simple hello world in dragon language. Right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, how does the hello world in dragon works? Is it a bunch is it a big line of code or is it just a few lines of code? Actually in dragon the hello world is just a few lines of code. So in this and in this case let me just try to simple hello world statement for you on dragon so when i put in show and i put hello word all right so you don't need semicolon and i'll save this okay you can save it anywhere you want why right? because once you download and um, dragon it will set the path automatically so let me just put it here and save it as hello dot dng. So the Python for and uh, the Dragon file extension is dng. So for Dragon we use the dng extension. So this is it right here. So I'm just gonna um cd into this folder. So all you need to do is right click then uh, then uh, yeah let me use this. All right no sorry. Alright, so the best way to do is just open the click on your windows and how and click OK. Okay, then after that, all you need to do is just see the, the desktop where you save your file. Then I can just, you know, from here, right drag on how that is run, then hello.dgn. Alright, so okay, I spelled drag on wrong. Sorry, so I'm just gonna go back there. Dragon, alright. Wait for some minutes, it's gonna run fast. You can see now we have the answer right here, which is hello world. Yeah, because we just did this. But if you don't want to do this kind of thing, if you just want to run it as you develop instead of come to the CMD, I need to do just head over here. The ID has the one button when you click on it, click on the run button right here. All right, so you can see it's gonna bring it out. You can see here we have the hello world. All right, so here's how we work with hello world. So in Dragon, we can print hello world in three different cases. This is the first case. So let's just try the second case. The second case is um, when we use something we call show line. This is just a writing show line, and when I put hello world, right, save this. Then if I should run this again. You can see we have hello world and hello world. Now you can note the difference there is that. All right, so let me delete this. Let me just cut, cut this, save this. Let me rerun this again. You can see we have hello world and the apostrophe here. Then you can see this equals 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 to here. This place right here. There is no space in here, in between, which is kind of very very bad. So when I paste, let me paste the other one here, the show line, then I run it. And you can see it gives us a space 
so the two line you add an extra space like in add a new line to your to whatever you're printing but you should just point it out of the screen any how it wants hope you understand that all right so let me just put it back hello what all right see this and the last to the last link in this first module we can print hello world using um a module in dragon so we have you to select a modern dragon we use the select keyword then we're going to select std so in this place we are selecting a model in dragon called std so to work with it all we need to do is just echo then i put hello world all right we don't need semi color or any other thing all right so when i eat one yeah you can see we also have hello world so that's are the three ways to echo hello world in dragon programming languages all right so this is the first model of the tutorial all right let's head to the second all right so in the last tutorial we look at the different types of ways hello world in dragon all right so in this case now we are going to be looking at um create a new file right here we're going to be looking at uh, the the variables in dragon all right yeah the variables in dragon so i'm gonna head over here and uh, name this as well all right so it's gonna say directly so the variables in dragon are just like creating a variable in python programming language you don't need to add any keyword like var or let or dollar sign just like in java c c c and uh, and the rest all you need just like um c plus plus c sharp we don't need to do that all we need to do is we declare the variable as we assign the value to it so for us to declare a variable in dragon all we need to just example just name we don't need to import anything name equals to all right precious all right so now we have our variable declared so i'm pretty sure you know i'm gonna work this out so i can just do show line and this is the name all right so let me teach you a shortcut in this um, ID. Look at this play button here. When I over on it, or oh, you can see we have run equals to shift plus F6. So it's a bit to keep going back there. And when you see that I don't click on it, just know that I all I did was click on shift F6. All right, so it's gonna run our five for us. You can see now we got printed out my name there, got printed as precious. I right, like that we used to work with variables. And variables, you know, variables contains um a string an integer a boolean and a and a floating number so you know an integer is a number a string is a word a boolean is true or false and floating number is decimal numbers so we are going to be looking at that one by one the first one we need to do look at is on the book the integer so i'm going to create a variable called integer when i give you five i know in every program language an integer doesn't need a uh, quote it doesn't need a code so if i move on let me show you this again right we can also have uh, uh let me create name two equals to underscore precious all right you can see i use a single quote with this work let's try it so nine name two all right so i'm just gonna connect this out so you know eight sheets f6 as you can see it said variable pressure does not exist in, in the blah 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 stuff so what the what this means that it works with only a double quote so when you want to use a single quote uh, it's not gonna point it out it's gonna be counting it as a variable so make sure you use a uh, double quote so I'm just gonna head back here then when i input show my integer when I hit shift up six, you can see the number got printed, which is five. All right, so that is that. And next thing we need to do is just take a look at it. At the boiling, so the boiling, I'm gonna give it um, true. All right, this is show name. But so, trust me, everything here, I'm not sure. If everything is gonna work but dragon is a new language and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's different from all that pretty different from the rest so let's try this volume it's gonna work 
all right you can see a true choice is now blah 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 so the bowling is not included in the dragon programming language or maybe i spelled it is case sensitive so let me try the small letter t you know, when i run this all right boom and you can see the true is one so you can see this case sensitive so don't get that confused don't be confused the true is one so you know that true and false is one and zero so and false is one and zero so when i try go to equals to this small letter f force then when i move down show nine it should be equal to save this and i click on f6 so you can see we have one and zero so this zero is false and this one is true all right so that is it so next one is going to look at is um the the double no, uh, floating number so i'm just going to give this d equal to 10.2 ratio 90 all right so when i run this i can see we have our number printed and you can see when i was typing the dio i see something like double so let's take a look i haven't, I haven't seen it before so let's take a look how it's gonna work so this will be double n equals to two so let me point point short show nine n so now save this on sheet f6 right on no statement what n is blah 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 so this is kind of weird i haven't seen this before so let me just double equals to two then print the double so when I hit shift F6, alright, so we got two. So it's just like this work like another way of defining a float instead of doing this. You can just use the double keyword. Alright, so now you've learned about variables in Dragon. Alright, so let's create a simple thing in Dragon, like where we swap variables using um a Python. Let's try if we can do that in Dragon. So I'm just gonna save this. I'll see this as swap delete this all right so the first thing to do is create the variable a equals to five b equals to six so our net and i gonna swap b to five k to six so we can just create a out our next standard variable which is gonna be holding the a so after it's holding the a what we need to do is just now you can see that c is a then i can just do b equals to a all right and you can see all right this c is gonna be ordering b let me do the b so we can now do b equals to a so when i should do show nine show nine c when i run this hopefully now you see we got six we got six all right so when i do show 9b now we got five so as you can see the b is working so we need to make some changes here all right so now after the b is as well now i can now do a equals to equals to c so when i get back and put a when i save this when well, you can see now we have our variable swapped all right so now you see a was five now a is six b was six now b is five so that is how we swap variables and dragon if you have any other logic you can comment right below all right so we are actually with this model let's uh, move on to the next all right all right welcome to the third model in this third model we're going to be looking at um the if else statement in dragon program language so right here so let me just go back and create a new file i'm gonna save this as um, the if else i'm gonna save it as if else so it's, this is just gonna be simple if else all right so delete this right so the if else statement is just like the if else in um, other program language but in dragon just like python we don't need uh a parenthesis to write an if statement yeah we don't need parenthesis to write an if statement 
so let's just start with that you know what this first statement is if first statement is just a conditional statement so we are in the conditional statement model the if else is just like saying if if on five is greater than four i need it to show this else i need to show this all right so let's try that in dragon you can do if five is greater than um four all right so we just need to do show nine greater done right now save this then i is shift f6 as you can see we have greater than so this is pretty much simple we don't need um to add this thing that we had in python then start adding four lines um uh, indentation we don't need that so i can also do else the show nine less done right when i save this then i um reduce this to seven right then i click run you can see we have the answer less done so this is a simple if a statement in dragon right so let's go in depth again by creating a variable called a equals to five done then um let's let's do this uh, show no if a is less than is greater than um okay show nine yes else if a less than six a less than four you need to show nine thinking then else show nine no so you can say now the answer right here is gonna be no when i run shift f6 right you can say now the answer we got here is no so what i really want to do is um check this or uh, say equals equals to four and i run shift f6 we still getting no sorry not this i wanted to do five all right so shift f6 i can say we have thinking all right so these two here out of everything here this is the only one that was correct because a here is equals to five so that's how we work with our uh, if your statement using um Python. so now for this point we are going to be building a simple bmi calculator using the dragon programming language so that's the later let's create a variable called weight uh sorry let me save this first Save this as um let's not let's create a velocity so we're going to create something that has, um gives us velocity so i like to not be confused i think velocity is equal to speed times time divided by 100 if I'm not mistaken, so that is the formula right there. So the first thing we do is just create a variable called speed, given that we have a speed of 10 and we have a time of 5. Then overall, let's just do overall. We could just write on there, but let's do this way. Create a variable. Then we are looking for velocity. So all we need to do is just do if. No. No, 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 no. all right so this won't work for the if a statement so let's just do a simple um cost product management so we have um, our total cost total cost equals to um 1000 then we have on um, price a equals to 500 we have price b equals to 200 so what we need to do is just do if price a divided by price b is less than total total all right so we need it to show nine this is loss 
LC price A equals price A divided by price B equals equals to total. We need it to show nine uh same then else show nine this will be game all right when i say this i run sheet f6 hopefully no error okay now we add loss because this divided by this is less than the total so let me increase this to a big amount and I see this around shift X6. Alright, we see you have the loss. So it's basically because so let's bring out our calculator. Alright. So it seems like I see our code is pretty wrong. So calculator we have um we have five one two three four five all right five hundred thousand divided by two hundred two hundred thousand equals to all right two point five so that is pretty much low so best we need to do is just let's give it to 10 then we save this then shoot f6 i can see we still have loss because this is 2.5 so when i give this to one chip f6 i can see we have gain because the 2.5 is higher than the loss so you can play with this code and check how it works so we are done with the first fitness model so let's go to the next model okay, so welcome to the next model in this model we're going to be looking at the for loop and dragon language yeah in the love statement already so what i'm going to do is just create a new file delete this now i'm going to save this i name this uh the four all right so the first thing we need to do is just we need to use the four statements and the four loop can work with or without a parenthesis so we're going to be looking at that so the first we need to do is just try the for and the parentheses on so when you open a parentheses and i declare a variable called i equals to zero comma i less than 100 or uh, i plus plus all right so when i go back and i show my i right when i click shift f6 all right so we add an error 930 right so instead of show line it's supposed to be show line i wrote show l sorry show line all right so i'm just gonna close this or uh, run this again all right you can see we add it counting from 0 to 99 all right so that's how we count it put the way programmers come from zeros all right so this is it with the parentheses now let's try without parentheses for i equals to zero comma i less than 100 comma i plus plus all right so we can also show nine i when i hit shift f6 hopefully no error okay we got an error this is unknown expression in nine six eleven no but i'm just gonna this so that it won't print too much thing so let's gonna add here and do show my i then i run shift f6 so we have an syntax error right here so all right so i i've noticed i made a mistake right here so we gonna control z then this is supposed to be i equals to zero all right when so i save this and i hit shift f6 shift f6 all right you can see it works with the parentheses it works without the parentheses all right so this is a simple for loop 
using the Dragon programming language. Alright, so in the next product, we are going to be looking at while loop. Alright, we are going to be looking at the while loop in Dragon. So stay in this tutorial. And if you have any question, don't forget to comment right below. I'm going to reply. Alright. Alright, so welcome to this um, fifth module on our Dragon program language series. So in this tutorial, you're going to be looking at the, um, the while loop in Dragon. Right. So you know how the while loop works while um, we declare a variable assigned to something learn we did why the variable is less than so, so, so we need it to what print out increment you understand what i'm saying so that is how it works right so the first way today dragon is um just declare variable and i'll send it to five we need to do the while all right why a less than less than five all right Oh, sorry, this is gonna be zero. While a less than five, then we need to just show nine. All right, this should be a is less than a is less than five. Then i plus plus. All right. So when I save this and I hit shift control, shift F six. All right, you can see we have a variable which says um, I never always say variable i doesn't exist. Oh, hello, I'm used to the i already, so let me try a now. All right, so when I add over here and hit shift F6, so you can see we have a is less than five, a is less than five. This is printed out in just one, two, three, four, five, five. All right, this is zero, one, two, three, four. So how are we gonna do that? I'm just gonna play this. I'm gonna print this on shift F6. Alright, so we still got nothing here. So for us to find out that it works, we just need to like I put some a little bit of argument in between in between it. And we can find a way to just print out the number. That would be really amazing. But I think I, I think I can do that. Alright, yeah. I think I can do that. Let me put this to A. Then let's delete this. In the front of this, I will just put show. Nine, all right, control S, then shift F6. All right, boom. So I edit it. So we can see we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is a this is a simple while loop, you know, dragon language. But well, you know the follow doesn't use a parenthesis. Let's check. I haven't checked before, but let's check if the while loop also wants to accept a uh will accept a parenthesis. All right. So the first one did accept a parenthesis. Let's check the second one if it's weak. So white a is less than um, five, all right? So we need to just show a plus plus. All right, when I say this, I need to control shift F six. All right, you can see it works. So the while loop also works with parentheses and without parentheses. All right, so we are through with this module. In the next tutorial, we are going to be looking at the function. Yeah, the next module is going to be function. All right. Hey, how you doing? All right. So in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at the, um, the function in Dragon. So the create. So you guys delete this and save this. I'm going to head over to the desktop right here and click on this one and name it function. All right. So to make a function in Dragon, we use the function keyword. Yeah, we use the function to work. All right. The, the reason why this function didn't really get that I like it with the color because um, I think my ID is outdated, so I will I will need to update that in the future. Right. So we have function. So for us to create a function in Dragon, we use the function distance, the function um, keyword. All right. So I just create the function. Let me name the function add. All right. Then I save it. Then I just check it. We get an error. You can see we get an error on inspection so immediately that is kind of the is the function so this function we are just gonna uh, show mine um it should be my function see this and shift f6 you can say nothing happened right because we didn't call the function so all we need to just Typing add and save this and I hit shift F6. 
all right you can see we get it printed out which is the uh, my function that's how we work with function in program right this function can accept um, parameters so let me create a function called so uh, all right this should be a comma b all right so when i put this in and i do show my uh Mm, a plus b all right so in this place we are going to be looking at um a mathematical expression here so when i eat when i type in so we have two plus two so i want to save this and do shift s6 uh with add and where required one and given to me in sub in new function this argument given required one and given to the function sub all right so it's telling us that we want a uh, one and we're given two you know what i'm just gonna turn this to return so there's a return keyword in dragon so i should just try this out shift f6 you can see we still have the same error all right so let me change this to one as said above all right, so I think I know where the error is coming from. So we don't need to, let me just control Z. Now you can see we have the A comma B. I made a biscuit by doing two plus two. It's supposed to be two comma two. But when I see this, I need shift F6. All right, you can see. But nothing uh, got printed, all right? All right, so let's do the show line again. All right, you can see we get our answer, which is four. So that's his function in Dragon Programming Language. All right, and that's how we work with function in Dragon Programming Language. You can work with function in um, different kind of ways. So uh, I have a function um, in age. So the age I set the parameter. So I want to do um, create a variable called c equals to five the temp equals to 10 yeah i'm just writing a random uh, code to, to show you how the functions works all right say i'm temp, temp equals to 10 then i want to do show my uh, a plus b divided by 10 divided by the 10 all right you can see now uh, even looking at this this is um initially a our number we're giving here plus this 5 divided by 10 so let's try that out so this will be age we're going to give this thing. right so when i hit shift f6 all right we add an order which is the variable b does not exist all right okay i made a template it's supposed to be c sorry about that okay when i hit shift f6 all right, you can see we have 10 so this is just saying 10 um 10 plus 10 is 20 yeah 10 plus 5 is 15 so 15 divided by 10 oh uh, is everything so if we, are, if we are getting it wrong we can use our calculator so i'm gonna use the calculator then i'm gonna do um 10 10 plus 5 divided by 10 right the answer right there is um, 1.5 right so this is saying we have a mistake somewhere so let's do this then show 9 8 plus 6 so let's try this right so we have 15 so all we are going to do is to make it simple we are going to store this in a variable d equals to 8 plus 6 then show line d divided by 10 all right so that's a lot in a function all right now you got the answer we can see we have one all right so this is how we work with functions in dragon program language all right and the next module we're going to be moving deeper we're going to be looking at how to accept user inputs using the dragon language hey what's up how are you doing welcome to the second module in this tutorial all right so in this tutorial in this module 
we're gonna make an audio the read line function this makes us accept user input accept in input from user all right and we can do this in just few lines of code so what we need to do is just select a model and then drag on the model and drag on is called std so after selecting it so what we need to do is just input create a variable all right need a variable a equals to then assign it to the read line variable all right then the simple thing I just need to do is just show line on A or I save this. So when I save this in the desktop as um read, I click here, then I run shift F6. As you can see, we have this blimpy stuff, meaning we need us to input something. So when you can see, when I input hello, I am um, precious. I can see we got hello, I am precious. So that's how it works. So let's create a basic thing with it. I create a basic thing with it. So I have this show line A. So before we do that, we can just do A if A equals equals to um, precious. Then I need it to just show line record. Right. So is this gonna work? Let's try this. Out. We should F6. Right, so when I put precious, I can see I have weapon. So when I let me try another thing again, if you are gonna get an error, so when I put this, just you know, you see, we get an error, no response. All right, so that is how it's gonna work. So in this, in this tutorial, for this thing, for us to make it good, we are gonna create a chat box using the dragon language. So this is gonna be a very, very long, you know, it's not gonna be a very long code. So I'm just gonna do a chat that responds to like two kind of thing, two kind of question. So now we need to do just um, head over to the white to put the variable a equals t. We can just do y a is um is less than zero. Then I need it to just um, a plus plus All right a plus plus. So right. when I save this one, do this. this work? Hello. Right, work. Right, you know what? That is gonna be a stressful way. So let's just do it in a simple way. It's just a simple tag that just replies some. It's just the one statement. So I'm just doing you know, if a equals to hello show nine. I am uh, I am Jarvis. All right. So else. Yes, we can also show my sorry. Right, so we can also accept another input B equals to read um read nine also. So if B equals to I we can also do show nine and look else show nine who are you all right so when i save this then i a shift f6 i'm gonna do a drop this down and input hello like i can see we have i am jarvis then when i have put in um i you see we have um who are you because the i isn't the way we spelt it this is key sensitive so when i head back there and i put um hello i and i put i okay i made a mistake again so let me just go back there run this mix it of this and i oh sorry before i make a mistake hello um, Java is there. We have I. Hello. All right. So these are we work with the import in um, Dragon, right? So in the next module, we are going to be taking the first look at building our first software using a Dragon, all right? So in the next module. All right. Welcome to the um the eighth tutorial the module. And this model, we are going to make an audio GUI. So, we're going to be doing our first application using Dragon. So, I'm just going to save this. We're going to save this as um, G 
gui gui all right you know say this a gui right so the first thing we need to do is just we need to select a a sd sdd we need to select the gui right from the this thing from our model so the gui is a model in dragon there's a model in dragon so next one i have to do is just um create a new window so let me use this as a uh, win equals to new window i see this is how we create a window in dragon so when i'm, I'm gonna name this uh, dragon gui all right i don't know if it's gui or if it's gui <laughs> anyone i pronounce just follow with it so window dots now we're gonna give it some size so i'm gonna give it some size of um, 600 to 500 then we do the set location we're gonna give it the location is to be under by android i think this be just make it in the center then we do the set layout we don't want any layout on it so this is the no layout all right so i think that is all so when i save this when i hit shift f6 as you can see nothing happened right you can see nothing happened the reason why is that we need to make our windows visible so all i need to just type in win.set visible save this and i hit shift f6 all right you can see we have our first dragon gui you can see now the name we gave it there the G dragon gui was given to it so that's how we do the simple gui in dragon so let's take a look at adding a adding a text the text to dragon so we're gonna name the text equals to we're gonna give it a new property the text property so this is gonna be the text property i'm gonna name this a uh, um, dragon then I'll close this so we can also give our our text a size I'm gonna give it a size, a size of um, dots I like creating a new property make sure then the next you're going to be assigning to it is gonna you're gonna be using the dots you can concatenate everything together so set the size set sorry set size Set size then this is gonna be 250 by 30 and we want to set location text dot set location all right this is gonna be 250 by 250 250 by 50 and we can also set some fonts that is a set font i'm gonna be using the area font here area font here area then the plain plain font is gonna be 25 so 25 percent bold all right save this then this is not going to work yet so for us to make it work we need to just input win dot add the text so this means that we added our text to the windows gui when i hit shift f6 when i hold on all right we have an, an error saying an infection title in main so just exit this all right so i made a mistake here this is supposed to be on um, text when i save this i run um shift f6 all right you can see we have it boldly written there which is dragon so we have our first gui made in dragon language so the next tutorial which is the last module we're gonna be looking at we are going to build in a login screen using the dragon program language so don't miss it and stay with the tutorial and don't make don't close this page because they're going to continue from here all right so see you in the next model all right so now this is the last module i can see we are continue from where we stop exactly in the last module so now I'm just gonna change this to login. Alright. Change this to login and make sure everything is working fine. I've left it. 
right now you can see boldly written on the screen is login so um the dragon language is um uh, head on easy to work with so all we need is just start creating property then adding it to our our windows so next we need to do is just create our username so this is going to be an input property so for us to work with that we need to use a new text text box all right so you need to make use of a new text box then text equals to and you gotta make it empty so you want an empty text empty text so before that we need to just do user t so this will be the user label so this will be um new text all right new text this is gonna be username all right operated the username we also need to set the size for this user t dot set size it's gonna be 250 by 30 then we also need to set the location user t dot set location all right so this is gonna be 250 let's try to get to the 130 okay all right it's not let's try to get to by 100 so when i save this let me comment this then i go back down here then i input win dot add user t save this and i shift f6 As you can see that now we have the username waiting so let's continue so next thing we need to do is just let me head back here and, and comment this and after that we need to set the size username the set size then this size is gonna be um this thing needs a little bit of mathematics so it's gonna be um 200 by 50 that's pretty much amazing so I'm going to order by 50. The next thing we need to do is just user dot set location. Alright, so our location here is gonna be um 250 by 130. You can see the user IT is 100. This is gonna be leading this with just a 30, like a 30 padding, padding of 30. Alright. So that is all. So when I go down here and add it to our Windows Swing, but add on um, this is gonna be username. And this place is supposed to be username. When I save this, uh, shift F6 now. As you can see now we have a text box of user. All right. So all I need is just let me copy this uh, okay no? let me copy this and i'll paste it right here so this is gonna be um fast okay and this one is gonna also be fast all right this is also gonna be um this is on um, the password part password All right so it needs a little bit of tweaking we can have um, the password and text in the same place so this is gonna be let's set the size to um 300 by 30 then this application is gonna be 250 by 200 and okay so that is all then I can add it right below here. Win dot add fast C. Right now I see this and I hit shift F6. Now you can see we have the password text also. Alright, so we are making progress. So next thing I need to just uh, go back to this text box right here. I'm gonna name this as uh, password this is gonna be a uh, password also
password also so we need to change some things in this one also so in this case our set size for this set location our set size well, let's look at the set size it's gonna be 200 by 50 okay correct then the location is gonna be 250 by okay let's try 200 okay, let's try 200 so when i go down here win dot add password i use it f6 okay you can see we can't see the text again so that is um not pretty much good so let's change the location let me try um 250 by 250 now it shift f6 so you can see now so we have the username and the password we have the username and the password so the next one is just um head back there the we are gonna add a button to it so we are gonna add the button to it. this is gonna be btn equals to um, new new button what is gonna be new button then this is gonna be text equals to an empty stuff no it's not gonna be empty it's gonna be logging all right so after doing that you just set the size btn dot set size the size is gonna be 200 by 500 that's 500 is too much sorry btn dot set location this is gonna be 250 by 30 feet so that is all you just need to do win dot add dot add on yeah, the bit here save this shift f6 all right so we have our cp gui we made in dragon programming language all right so i'm very very glad you made it out alive <laughs> you made it through the course all right the course so don't forget don't, don't think this is the last two you are going to be doing on the dragon programming language so we are going to we are still going to be doing dragon programming language four courses in the next topic so this is just for the beginner purpose and don't forget to like and subscribe and okay see you next time shalom